What's up, YouTube? We have Squiddy here. He just finished top eight at YCS Niagara. Yep. yep. Any shout outs? Uh, yeah. Uh, shout out to everyone in the crew Kenny, Bruce, Calvin, Cal. Shout out to Cal's House and TCG. Guys, go ahead and use that. Uh, you can use the code Squiddy for 1% off all your purchases. Uh, you can just buy all your cards there. Shout out to Team Purple Haze. Shout out to Kelowna. Shout out to the Vancouver Gang, uh, Montreal. Kevin, Ali, you guys know who you are. Thank you for testing. And uh, yeah, let's dive in. All right, let's go to the main deck. Okay, yeah, so it's a really standard deck. Um, just three blue, three jet, uh, red, I mean orange, because he's orange, carrot, and pixies. Um, yeah, by the way, the reason I decided to play this deck was I think that Pierce Pratt was really powerful and that you can play a lot of ham traps. I call them ham traps because they're ham when you open them, it tastes like ham because you're so happy. Mm -hmm. But these cards, I feel like the meta game, like if you have a lot of hand traps, you can kind of stun your opponent and then just like overwhelm them with the sprite engine. So yeah, that was the theory behind it. The deck worked out really well. I was undefeated day one, but then uh, on day two, I actually ran out of luck and went 0-4. So I like lost my next two rounds. Not that it mattered because I was already locked in because there was only 10 rounds. But um, yeah, I ended up making top eight, which is nice. Got super lucky. Uh, this card is amazing because it allows, it's basically an honest and it allows you to go for game in this deck because this deck is really bad at putting damage on the board. Um, this in conjunction with like Dagos to Phoenix, which allows you to attack twice, can boost its attack by the monster you attack. So if you attack like a giant 10k attack nib token that you give for them, you can attack again for a game. So it just allows you to enable OTKs as well as get over big towers monsters that you can't get over like big mist or arrival kai. Um, yeah, it worked out really well. I was able to game a lot of opponents with this and catch them off guard. Um, yeah, sprite line up. Um, and then next are the ham traps. Uh, so three ash. We just played like all the ham traps. I think this is way better than board breakers because people were expecting board breakers and also like uh, obviously eradicator is a card that destroys all spells. Three nib. The reason you play this is because you can pair it with any other hand trap like Valor for example and it just desecrates like any board. Um, in the mirror match you can use it on red and then uh, you can use nib, chain, Valor, so on and so forth. All right. They're forced to negate one or the other, and then they lose their board. Three Crow. This card is really insane, obviously, against here. As well as in the mirror match, it's quite good because your other hand traps end up stunning them so they don't get toe down board. They end up just like on an elf trying to revive something, and then you can just crow, and it actually puts you quite ahead. It's good card draw six as well because you can use it on elf, obviously, and use it on like things like Havendis or like when they try to fuse on your turn using like the Ciliac Trap. Uh, and then probably the best hand trap imperm because obviously like in this meta game your opponent's always going for red to negate the ham traps and then this just like stops a gigantic from giving them access to swap frogs so they're unable to uh, get towed and also being a good six card uh being a trap and then two ogres this card was all right um i didn't really use it a lot against gigantix i only played like three or four mirror matches i think and uh, this didn't really come up um, it was a couple of times good when, uh, as a six card, when they use total effect on during the standby, especially on the frog, you can actually use this as a one for one to bait the negate. And, uh, yeah, it was really good against some road decks. I played like a flunder, so it was good against map, you know, so on and so forth. It's decent against here if they play redo or, or Drago Stipula. It's not the best, but you know, it has some uses. Is there, um, any hand traps that you missed? I think Bell. Ghost spell, I definitely want to play moving forward because it is like very reactive as it is offensive. You know, you can use it against called by, you can use it against crow, which is really popular. So, uh, yeah, being able to use that, you can also use it against toad when they try to negate a monster effect because it would like try and set the card. Mm -hmm. So, being able to use that uh, as a utility against other cards while you're playing to pursue your plays is really nice, and also against gamma as well. And then obviously three dealer. The reason I play this is because I feel like it's better than Beaver. You can search the hand traps, so you can go in the Hal combo and then swap frog, bounce back like an ash or something. Never really came up because I felt like a lot of people were playing Nib this format, so you didn't really want to play into that because it was a bit riskier. But this is really good with Halk because a lot of times you have Nib and you just brick, so you summon like a ham trap, and make Halk, special summon one of these, make gigantic, and it's just full combo. Like in the top sixteen, uh, I think I was playing against a tier player during Gallagher, really good player. Uh, he went. Uh, had a full board and then I had nothing so I ended up using like the Bigfoot I stole previously with Toad and then um, my Pit Knight early I think to make Dark to special summon one of his cherries that was in the grave which is a tuner um, made Hulk and was able to special summon this and go for a full combo I had no way to get to my sprite engine otherwise um, so yeah I think Viva is really really good at least until we get the next set the new sprint uh, link then probably play Viva to Dumb Angler um, and then the frogs three uh, swap, one Ronin, and one dupe. I know I said this card is bad, but it's actually quite good. It's really good against here because um, 
I feel like just overloading your board is the best way to play against that. It doesn't matter if you get super poly. If you're playing around super poly and not special summon, you're probably going to lose more because you just lose to their engine. Your board's weaker. This allows you to like protect your monsters by being attacked as well as being another name in the graveyard for you to banish in the grind game. So that's really, really important because usually you're out of like two frogs. You know, you banish one in your turn and then you banish another one from Ronin and then like you maybe have this one that's in your hand. Maybe you don't. But this just allows you to have like a fourth copy, which allows you to bring back Ronin and just link off. Spell cards, three uh, starter and then two smashers. I played two smashers, people were telling me to do that just because of mine. Also like not being afraid to use this on like anything before uh, mine because a lot of times you're like, oh, if they have mine, I should lose. I don't want to flip this, but yeah, this is cool. <laughs> I lost some top eight because I misplayed. Um, I realized that you can actually banish cards from hand. I totally forgot about that. So I should have set this and then I would have banned all one. But uh, you live in there, guys, read your cards, please. Would you um, continue with two smashers after this event? Probably one, I think, but maybe two is correct. I don't know. I think maybe side one, at least have two access, you know, it's good. Yeah. Because I also play Desires, the God card, and sometimes you banish Smashers, which isn't the best. Ooh. But I feel like this card is way better than Prosperity because you draw two cards. <laughs> Very good, draw two cards. Uh, obviously I banish Ronin a lot, which is fine, but being able to set up your board and draw into ham traps, especially if you open this, you have combo, you can play this at the end of your combo, draw two. Very good cards. Um, also like, just like... You know, having the extra card against here, uh, against the mirror match, I feel like is more important than being able to select. But I might be able to want to play Prosperity as well moving forward, but I would play this first. Yeah. Maybe like additional copies of Prosperity because uh, I did break up. Did times. you ever feel like you ran out of resources early because you used Desires? A couple times. I think in a future match that was written against the guy that, who won, actually, the um, Exo Sister. Yeah, Raymond uh, Ray Dye. Dye. Yeah, yeah. he... Uh, I activated two of these, I think, in one game, and I was down to like two monsters in my deck, and it was so close, and I barely squeaked out a win. Mm -hmm. But no, it was really instrumental, I think, especially playing against those world guests, because you are able to draw like Cosmic Cycle and things to help you push your board. And then called by, yeah. Self explanatory, very good. And then extra deck, uh, two gigantic, Toad, uh, this card, very, very good. Onibamaru, you're able to banish stuff as a Zeke effect. Uh, during your main phase, which is really, really important, because a lot of times they have happiness, so you should just banish it. And top three, uh, top eight, I should have banished this happiness that he used summoned on my turn as well, because he used that to push and make a board through the shifter. So definitely use this to get rid of uh, opposing monsters that are threats. That goes to Phoenix, obviously. Being able to attack, even without Pixies, it's 3k on a body, which is insane. So you can just push for game. I also play Gamma Burst inside deck, so this card just does like 5,800, I think, which is sick. Uh, the Zeus package, very, very clutch. And then the Lynx, uh, Almirage, this is really useful if you open Swap Frog plus four Ham Traps. Uh, dark, which is absolutely insane because every good deck plays Dark Monsters right now. Uh, three Elf, I think it's needed. You just lose in the grind game if you don't have it. Also, like if you have five monsters, you're able to make Elf first and then make Gigantic. So you're protecting your Gigantic from being targeted by Valor or Imperm, which is cool. Um, so yeah, just having multiples does that. This card is really good, Pit Knight early. I ended up playing this instead of IP because I didn't have space. Because I was playing like Onibamaru and uh, Digusto. This card essentially, when it points to a monster and that monster uses effect, you can chain this effect, negate the effect monster's effect that your opponent controls, and then change the attack to zero. So it's really good when you have this and elf. You can go elf, chain like one, and this chain two. But it is a quick effect, so you can miss timing. Um, I used it a couple times when people put monsters in the middle and also on this zone. So you can actually, just, I summoned it here and I pointed that monster, or summoned it this zone and I pointed that monster. So that helped me win my top 16 when I pointed a Drake Stephelia as well, because it's forced to negate. And then Hulk, I think this card is really good. Uh, when you brick, it just helps you unbrick. Also, it helps you get to your third 200 gigantic before using elf, which is super important to kill like kick owls or big monsters. So yeah, it's really right. cool. And then extra, or side deck, other three solemn. This is my only going for Sam, uh, trap. I felt like the barrier was also an option because this card kind of sucks in time, but I actually played fast enough that I barely went in time. I think I went in time like one round. This is really good because it stops everything from like evenly dark ruler and so on and so forth. You can stop normal summons, so. Did you uh, like that uh, more than a pointer? Yeah, I actually don't like a pointer because I feel like when people are playing hand traps and they grind you down, you have nothing. Flipping a pointer just feels so bad. It's like you almost lose a card because like your board isn't good enough to capitalize on it. And then they get the card added to their end phase because it's been eroded. It used to be two turns, but now it's just one turn. So I feel like this just stops the problem, so it's better. Gotcha. And then three shifter, this card's absolutely amazing. Won my top 16 game three with this. Um, also, like against here, the, the deck is really degen. It's hard to beat, but having this like going second. I decided on going first sometimes too because you can just stun them for a turn and then kill them. But I don't know, maybe it's not good going first because you put up your, you have to set out other hand traps for this. So I think like going second probably better moving forward. 
uh, and then Gown Burst to pair with it. This gives all your monsters 1400 attack. So any two monsters allows you to go for a game because you go for Gigantic, special summon blue, add jet, special summon jet, add this. And that's three monsters. Three times 1400 is 4200. And then you just have to do 38, which you would have on board with Gigantic and the other two monsters. And this was Dragosto Phoenix, obviously, just like obliterates the board. You yeah. decided it could say anything else, right? And then uh, the Gamma Package, this card is absolutely insane in the mirror match. Don't set it against here because it doesn't really hit anything. You don't want to destroy anything to get it for and Graveyard. But this uh, obviously is really good. So guys, when you're playing like Swap Frog and Diva, try to play around this. Don't use this effect of Swap Frog <laughs> if you have a bunch of extenders because if the Gamma you lose because you lose your monster. Um, and then the back row stuff, two Cosmic, Duster. This card also side against like uh, Tier Laments and also mirror match because other traps like, you know, Artifact Sanctum or like a virus really just ends the game. So this allows you to stay in there and then you do some away. And then these cards for like the Runic as well. It's really good. So yeah, that's about it. All right. Um, any last words? Nope. Guys, rate, like, subscribe if you like this video. There'll definitely be more videos coming soon. Thanks a lot. Yep. And you should see you next time.